I will be talking about the 180 day workbooks that we have done so far and the ones we're doing this fall. We are doing the science one right now for level K and we will finish it by the time he goes on his break in July. We finished the geography one. We absolutely loved it. We will be doing the geography book for the next geography book for uh, 21, 20, 21, 22 school year. Because we rotate them. And for reading, we just started. We're only in week, I think, week eight. Yeah, we're in week eight. So we'll definitely still be doing this in the fall. It comes with a CD. So if he has trouble, we can get a CD player and print out some workbooks. So if you have multiple kids and they're on the same grade level, you can get the CD wrong. Use the CD wrong to print out more pages. So you don't have to photocopy them. That's what I think is legal. All right. Um, so we will be doing the level one science. So that's grade one, level one. Uh, but just because we already did the K one for last year for, with, with our bookshark, so we're doing this one with our bookshark. It works really well. It It's multiple choice questions, uh, sometimes some writing. Uh, I do the writing for him in, in those situations when he can't write. And uh, they're pretty cool workbooks, and they go great with, with bookshark. And he can't do the work, work, worksheets for bookshark because they're open into questions, and he has trouble open into questions. So we do this instead. I keep the worksheet when he's older, and when he can do it, we go back and we do that level. Um, we did. Okay, we did handwriting with up tears this year. He had trouble with the. Let me show you. He has trouble with the. With the lines right here, the skinny lines. I have to hold his hand, make it perfect, and everything. And he has trouble with it. He has no trouble with like up here. He had no trouble at all, just here. So I'm going. So I highly recommend handwriting up tears. A great program. I just don't think it's working for my son anymore. So we're going to try two of their language books from, two of their writing practice and language books from 180 day workbooks. We're not doing it, their writing or their language last year, so we're starting at level K. And we'll be doing writing, which is pre-writing, drafting, reviving, editing, and publishing. And it's very simple. It starts out asking questions, it starts out practicing writing the P letter P, and as you move on, it gets more and more advanced. More writing. But I definitely think that this will do really good for my son. We're also going to be doing capitalization, punctuation, parts of speech, and spelling, and the language Um, it's got in the back the my language book talk about when to when to should you capitalize things uh, punctuation and part of speech and that's all it does it just shows it tells you that things and it tells you to go do them in the workbook so you can get uh, another book to help you if you need to it's also got spelling lists it's got Eight spelling lists, or actually eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve spelling lists. Twelve spelling lists, it's pretty cool. But anyway, so what it does is it starts every day. Every day is like this. You do this to set four things to do and then you do them. And you go through the book and it's the same. Same. It's the same, just what it tells you to do is different each day. Sometimes it's same, sometimes it's different. Either way. And let me show you one earlier in the book. Later in the book. And then once you get all the way Going last day. And you're still doing the same stuff on the last day. Very simple, very easy to do. Hoping that this is all my son needs to learn it. 
because he does better with simple instructions and this is very simple and straightforward so I'm hoping it works for him. Since we did geography last year, we are now doing social studies. You know, social studies last year. So we'll be starting at level K and we're doing civics, economics, geography, and history. And we're doing this one because it starts at the beginning. And it's simple and it's easy. And we like we like the one in AJ workbooks. These are what we'll be using, what we won't be using, what we've already used. And we absolutely love the 180 day workbooks. We will definitely be getting more of them. I have one more of theirs coming in the mail, and I'll do a short little video on it. But if you want to see any more in-depth look at any of these 180 day workbooks for the level K and one first grade level, let me know, and I will give you a look inside. Thank you, and have a great day.